and welcome to this week's Earnings Digest, where, as usual, we'll take a look at the uh, main earnings happening next week, discuss them from an options trading uh, perspective and some uh, volatility use cases, as we usually do. So uh, let's jump in right ahead with uh, the calendar by implied move. So as you know, the implied move is a very important number, a metric to watch for uh, stocks earnings. This basically shows the expected uh, uh, amount of move uh, uh, in these upcoming earnings, uh, absolute, so plus or minus, calculated from, as you know, the closest expiration straddle, so a call and a put. So as you see, basically we're starting here uh, the beginning of earnings season with the continuation of banks' earnings. So as you see early this week with uh, Goldman Sachs, for example, uh, on Monday uh, as long as well as uh, BlackRock, uh, Monday after close, uh, continuing throughout the week with Morgan Stanley. Notice the uh, somewhat low uh, r range of expected moves for these banks going to 5%. Uh, going throughout the week, we see some higher, uh, more, move, more volatile stocks, let's say, with United Airlines, for example, highly expected around 10%. And we can see here in a nutshell, by the way, the latest, the last three uh, uh, earnings for UAE uh, uh, with these uh, especially two big last moves, uh, continuing with some banks, USB, and finishing the week with uh, important names, uh, especially Netflix, uh, highly expected, uh, and TSM, with one, uh, some of the uh, highest uh, uh, implied moves. So these are indicators of a big expected volatility or priced in volatility in the markets for uh, these companies. Now, as you know, uh, quickly, it's an important to put that number, that implied move number in perspective when we uh, talk about earnings, because, as you know, this reflects the uh, forward looking, basically, uh, expectation. So the uh, upcoming expectation, what's priced in in the market today, uh, it's useful to compare it, obviously, to what happened in the past. So here we plot the implied move we were looking at in the X axis versus is the average move for each stock uh, on their past uh, earnings over the last 10 years. So this is basically the uh, past volatility on earnings and so it allows us to compare how things are priced in. We directly see that uh, first of all most of the stocks are in the lower zone of this graph. So the overvalued zone where the uh, implied move is somewhat higher than the uh, average past move. Notice here for United Airlines for example an implied of around 9.5 for uh, an average move of somewhat uh, uh, lower than that, around 6.5. Um, Netflix shows up in the other uh, side as undervalued, but overall we see the trend of uh, most of the stocks being in the overvalued zone. Then again, we're looking at the last 10 years, so perhaps uh, let's shorten this time window. Let's look only at the last two years and see how that pattern changes. And see, directly we notice how, uh, for example, stocks shifted a bit closer to the middle line here, where the implied move is very close to the average move, uh, especially for United Airlines, for example, where now the implied move of 9 is not so uh, uh, overvalued. It's actually quite close to the average over uh, last three, uh, uh, the last two years which, by the way, is uh, 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 understandable when we see the amount of, especially the last two moves, as we noted earlier. Uh, and in general, other names such as Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, uh, 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 and these uh, other banks that shift closer to the line. And so perhaps the pricing is a bit more relevant to the last trend. And this uh, goes to the importance of, as usual for our earnings edge, to uh, uh, compare these numbers and dive into the uh, uh, past uh, moves uh, and the market expectations to find these basically discrepancies and the uh, favorable risk reward trades we like for uh, earnings. Now, uh, let's actually go ahead and dive into uh, some uh, uh, name for the upcoming week. And we notice here United Airlines that we discussed. So go ahead and open uh, the uh, moves analyzer on uh, United Airlines. As you know, this is basically a screen that recaps uh, the past uh, moves uh, uh, on earnings and shows us uh, statistics and uh, insights about what happened uh, in, the, in uh, its past earnings. Notice how, so for example, quickly here we see in the main table, uh, we're obviously 
interested in this column the move on the day of release so this is the first trading day after the release uh, uh, m which is the most important one to watch where the IV crash uh, etc happens uh, we compare as usual this number to the average move uh, uh, recorded then and notice uh, here especially in the last year since 2022 a uh, lot of highlighted rows the, that correspond to moves that are uh, way higher than uh, so both basically this average move so notice for example since 2022 the lowest move was actually a three percent and most of the time the move ended up exceeding uh, by far in most cases the uh, average move uh, so this is interesting for uh, you know what we call these long volatility basically strategies where the implied move is uh, favorably priced in when we can bet that the move can uh, somewhat exceed it uh, going into the moves distribution it shows us here directly that the range of move as well as the outlier presence for the stock uh, uh, is high so uh, this is quite a volatile stock we see the quite big range of moves going from plus 18 to minus 13 uh, uh, with an average move only of six percent so again these are good indicators uh, for us to watch uh, and especially if we compare for example the current implied move so the value we were looking at that uh, 9.7 percent to the uh, past moves uh, 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 realization we notice how uh, see the market really caught up basically the implied move is quite a bit higher than what we would like uh, making it a bit difficult uh, or ha more difficult uh, for you know these long volatility strategies even though as you see basically most cases uh, in especially in the last years the moves got at least close to the uh, uh, the the stretch hold of implied move and now let's actually dive into another interesting aspect of earnings play perhaps a new way of playing earnings where i'm sure uh, uh, you uh, have noticed this uh, sort of uh, uh, experience that happens where different stocks that do not have earnings will actually see a big reaction a big move on the day of earnings of say uh, a stock from uh, s a same sector or a competitor or uh, a sort of a comparable stock so this is what we call sympathy plays where uh, one reaction, one news, uh, one earnings uh, release basically influence other earnings or, or other stocks uh, without them having earnings. And so this opens up basically uh, opportunities to play on these other stocks that do not have earnings and so are not exposed to IV crush, etc. And uh, what makes, you know, uh, uh, earnings uh, a bit more uh, difficult uh, while still being favorably placed because uh, historically they have seen uh, more moves that follow the uh, original stock uh, uh, earnings moves and so this is what we call sympathy plays and th so this is the uh, latest ad in our moves analyzer and so for example notice how for uh, United Airlines uh, we see in this table here the stocks that are most correlated with uh, United Airlines earnings moves and as expected somewhat we see that uh, uh, Delta Airline here is quite high uh, in the correlation score at around 78% and we see in the break down table next to it how both stocks per pretty much moved along in a lot of occasions so making for this high correlation stock so for example the last releases where the uh, uh, United Airlines experienced this 10.1 percent move uh, uh, Delta saw another 5.4 also in the same direction when the move was a, a, a big downward uh, move of minus 9 percent uh, a same big amplitude move around the minus 5 percent happened for United Airlines uh, for Delta Airlines this is not always the case uh, obviously so there were also a lot of occasions where the moves do not follow for example here as you can see in October 2022 but overall statistically we've seen this correlation and as shown in this table we between United Airlines and Delta uh, Airlines we can browse other names that are uh, also good candidates for this correlation for example love here uh, which is also expected in the same sector and so this opens up opportunities to sort of play uh, uh, the United Airlines earnings but in the proc of these stocks so different ways either capitalize on the move for example and rather than playing uh, straddles or strangles or you know long volatility positions on United Airlines basically play them on these stocks that would have lower expectations lower implied moves since there is no IV crash and no earnings involved for them or also another possible way of playing this is by playing the momentum so if we see for example a big move on United Airlines earnings we 
can pretty much enter f perhaps a position to mirror that move if it's an upward move uh, f for example would be a call or, or uh, 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 something like that for delta uh, basically capitalizing on this amplitude on the fact that when there is a big move on United Airlines usually there is also somewhat a big move on de uh, delta so try to basically ride that momentum either uh, before earnings and so going through that day uh, with the position or at the release uh, so even more conser uh, conservative after uh, market open when we see that uh, basically uh, move on the uh, United Airlines stock. Uh, quickly, let's actually uh, look, go ahead and show uh, another uh, name that uh, also exhibits uh, high correlations with other stocks for its uh, uh, these sympathy plays, these proxy plays, uh, DHI. And so notice, for example, an even higher score of correlation with LEN, 88%, where uh, uh, statistically the two stocks really follow each other, where you can see here as we browse this table, on multiple occasions, a 13% move on one mirrored uh, 14% percent on the other same here uh, uh, whether it's upward or downward and so these are sort of low risk uh, opportunities that are a proxy to earnings plays and can be interesting to dig in and so uh, if you are sort of more uh, conservative or sort of starting or exploring these new uh, earning strategies uh, it can be something beneficial for you to research and uh, sort of watch these different positions especially with all the upcoming earnings uh, uh, coming in Hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or stocks you're watching for uh, these upcoming earnings. And see you in the next video.